this is AJ from Muscular Development, and look who I'm with, with Brad Rowe. Finally we meet, huh? Good to see you, my man. Nice to meet you. Although I'm a little bit disappointed. <laughs> okay, what did I do? You promised me a Backstreet Boys song. And I, I did promise Backstreet Boys, but I uh, could not find a song that I fell in love with. You know, you just, it's one of those things, when it's, you know, it's posing music, you have to feel it. It has to oh, hit your soul. Start. You know what I mean? So, and I'm a very kind of a slow, more of a sensual kind of poser. Um, and a lot of their songs just didn't hit that. But I do have Justin Timberlake, NSYNC, Backstreet Boys. Kind That's of a, a war, no. It's, it's if, a war. So I'm not. Yeah, you know, I, I was more of a, an NSYNC fan than a Backstreet Boys fan, unfortunately. Uh, even though they were, you know, Boston. Oh, okay, maybe we should cut. No, <laughs> I'm not, no but to be serious, I think you're a very entertaining poster. Thank you. You always bring something fresh to the stage. When you come out, people like get excited. It's not, it's, 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 you got a good vibe to you. And that's the thing, I, I think it's just because, you know, I put emotion into my posing. You know, there's, it, it's, it's a feeling, you know, from deep inside where most guys just come out and they just blast heavy music and just mm. hit most musculars and stuff. There's, there's no flow, there's no emotion. I, and I feel like I emit like, an energy when I get out there on stage that kind of the audience can feel. You told me you're gonna try something different today. Will you, will you have a different look tomorrow? Uh, First, I want to ask one thing. Yeah. How's your arm? Uh, the bicep is great. So, those of you who don't know, I am exactly 14 weeks post-op from a distal bicep rupture. Uh, the reason why I did this show was because doctors told me that I was not going to be able to train until 16 weeks post-op. And you're doing a show in 14 and I'm weeks. doing a show in 14 weeks. The recovery started going very quickly. Um, I, was, I was extremely happy with how things were progressing. Um, you know, my diet, I changed everything. I was doing ketogenic and, and intermittent fasting uh, during that whole phase. I was off all the chems on TRT. You know, I did a whole peptide protocol um, on recovery, and things were going, um, you know, really good. Um, so I, in the top of my head, I was like, you know what? Let's make this. Uh, people, people are. We got, we got dogs barking. Anyway, um, so recovery is going really great, and I decided, you know what, I'm going to do this to inspire others that have injuries. Because a lot of guys, like as soon as I get my surgery, a lot of guys reaching out to me, like Matt Berzenkopf, um, another guy, uh, Cade Zook. These are top-level national competitors that probably could have won their pro card at nationals. One tore his bicep, one tore his tricep, and they were reaching out to me to figure out how I stayed so positive and how I was recovering so fast. So I said, let's use this as a marketing tool and just use this to motivate other people. So I decided to do this show. Here I am. I am going to match my best look of the year, without a doubt. So I'm here to prove that. But could you train your? When can you? When did you start training your arm? Like, have you trained your arm at all? Uh, two weeks ago now, I finally did heavy stuff. Uh, I was blessed and I've hooked up with this company called New Fit, and they make a machine that stimulates muscles. Oh. Um, it, it's more for therapeutic purposes, but it also can be used for hypertrophy training. Uh, for those of you that follow Ben Pakulski and the MI40, Ben got one for his gym. Derek Lunsford's been using it. Um, so I was able to do some light band work and, and contract with that to get some fullness. And then I actually trained uh, weights with a 45-pound dumbbell. I did curls like two weeks ago. So, But I could do back stuff. I just wasn't being stupid. I wasn't doing you know, bent over rows, like heavy. I wasn't doing deadlifts, under, underarms. I didn't want to put pressure on that. So I was training a little smarter than I normally would. And to be truthful, my bicep is just, I'd say probably within 90% of what it was. I previous. saw the pictures you showed me. You can, if you talk, let's not even talk about it, because then you will start thinking right, about right. it. Right, right. You, you don't even see it. Really. The thing you have to compare is that that bicep was always smaller, and it was always shorter compared to the left. For some reason, my left bicep was always bigger. So you see the difference left to right, but if you compare my right bicep to all the other previous shows, it's really right there. So I'm very happy. Also, I got to say, your YouTube channel is one of the few YouTube channels, because you know I like things with a little bit more... Entertainment. Ex yeah. yeah. And your channel is one of the few bodybuilding channels I watch. I, I truly appreciate that. And, you know, one of the biggest things I try to be as an athlete, as a, as a public figure, is to be real with people. Mm. So I address situations like I've been through anxiety and depression and things like that. I talk about relationship issues in my wife and in life in general, you know, because we all get kicked in the face, mm. thrown down, you know, and I, and I just think that too many people with public figures, they pretend like life's perfect, and it's not. 
And if you can connect with people who are struggling and they see that you're accomplishing things and you're struggling with things as well, it kind of gives them hope. And, uh, you know, I just, I, I've always tried to be real in life, so. Hollywood, if you're watching, Tom Cruise is starting to get old. <laughs> you going that route when you're finished with, with the bodybuilding or? You know what, after I tore my bicep, I kind of said, screw Hollywood. Um, Whoa. You know, I, I started thinking about things and, uh, the whole plan was after Tampa, I plan on actually kind of losing some size and taking some acting classes and kind of going into it. Yes. I remember we talked and, about it. And then I just thought about it, and it's just really not a passion. You know, okay. it's something that, like, it's cool. Like, to see myself on camera with Sylvester Stallone and Dolph Lundgren and things like that, it's freaking awesome. You but know, to I, inspire people, but, it's but, your... Right, like, I came from shit, you know. I came from a, a, a lower middle class... You did. blue collar neighbor. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I was about a single mom. I had, I had nothing. Most of the kids in my town were all heroin addicts. You know, oh. just, you know, everybody. What kept you out of that path? Sports, and my mom that would beat the living shit out of me. You know, and good, good loving, supporting family. You know, but I didn't have much. So, I, for me, it's kind of cool to like just to hear the people in my hometown be like, "Oh my God, like look at Brad, he made it." Mm. And that's truly the only motivation from it. Like, I don't want to be on set 16 hours a day for you know weeks and months on end. The Rock has no life whatsoever. It seems cool, but trust me, that man works his freaking ass off. And then you get lucky enough to even book that much work. You know, you could get lucky and hit a few things, and you think you're all set, and then all of a sudden you don't get shit for years. You're, you're a broke actor, you know? So I would rather continue on the path that I am, and, uh, you know, if something crazy pops in my lap, then obviously I'm a man of opportunity. When I see opportunity, I try to take advantage of it. Brad, you're an inspiration. I wish you success, not only in this show, but in your life, because it's very, when you're around, when I'm around you, it's very easy to see that you're a real man. You're not a fake man. You don't say things just for the viewers to get sponsors or to get you're a real man it's easy to see and i wish you much success i appreciate you will it, film you tomorrow yes and brad what's your instagram handled one more time it is brad b row and your youtube page is called uh the b row 22. brad row aj